שלום לכולם, ושבת שלום. שבת שלום, everybody. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, even though I hear a jet overhead, far, far away right now. But it's so, I just want Noma and I to emphasize how beautiful it is right now. The sun is shining. Um, flowers are trying to break forth um, out of the ground. Yes. And where did we go yesterday? We had we to drive. Roland Heights. Oh my gosh. We were, we were overwhelmed with the beauty. Everything's green. Everything's green. And I did ask the Lord if he could keep everything green, even in the summer, <laughs> in, the, in the, the Galilee. Okay. Yeah, which is mission impossible yeah. because in the summer it's Nothing's so impossible <laughs> with the Lord. Okay, nothing's impossible. But we just want to let you know that even though we're in the middle of war, it's like the Lord is still revealing who he is. And he reveals who he is to a, a beautiful flower that just pops up. And it's it just a reminder of his faithfulness to Israel, his faithfulness to his people Israel with the covenant. Right, so outside everything seems so nice and beautiful, mm -hmm. but the country is suffering. Yeah. The people are suffering emotionally, physically. Grieving, grieving. Yes. Grieving every day, mm. every day there's grieving. Every day there's another um, sorrowful, grieving story of a mother losing her son and and what the enemy has done um, to the bodies. We don't want to go into it because I'm sure you've seen many things. But please don't turn your head away. Please, I'm asking you, don't turn your heads away. Um, read the articles. Um, look at the things um, because you need to understand the atrocities of. Um, human beings that can be like uh, they're monsters when Satan just takes over them. And um, and Noam and I are here to comfort. We're here to comfort as much as we can. Yes, and to encourage that after all, mm -hmm. he's in control. Yeah. And that's what we have to remind ourselves. Yeah, trust. And, and every suffering has mm -hmm. a reason, has a season. Meaning it has a time. Yeah. There's a time to rejoice and there is a time right. to mourn. Yeah, there's time for peace and there's a time for war right. in Ecclesiastes. And obviously we're in war right now. Mm -hmm. But what it's really doing, Noam, is sifting the people. It's sifting those that say they are Christians. And the ones that are being sifted, it's like, are you going to stand with Israel in my word? And it's better yet what I would say, it's like the Lord is saying, are you going to stand with my word? Because mm -hmm. my word talks about my people. So you right. can't separate God's word from his people. Right, yes. And like I said, the suffering has a reason. And that's one of the things we need to find out. Yeah. But we put that aside now because yeah. we want to focus on the word comfort. Right. See, the word comfort in Hebrew is lenachem, that is to comfort. Mm -hmm. And you see from the word, the root, Naham, the first two letters, Noach, it means rest. Mm -hmm. So you see, when you give comfort to someone, you allow him to have a rest. Right. From the troubles that he's having, uh, all the anxieties, to be able to yeah. rest. And the word Noach actually is yes. in, in uh, English, yes. Noah, Noah's Ark. <sighs> so it's an example how even in the storm, he could rest in the ark. Amen, amen, amen. And I asked Noam this morning, I said, what is the Hebrew word for comfort? Because I knew there were treasures in it. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord has kept on bringing to me um, Isaiah 40, verse um, 1 and 2. Comfort, yes, comfort my people, says your God. And mm -hmm. when, when the Lord emphasizes comfort twice, it means pay attention. I'm giving you a word mm -hmm. which is comfort to my people, Israel. Speak comfort to Jerusalem and cry out to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned. For she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. It's like the Lord is saying, you know, here I am. I can relieve you. I'm the only one that can relieve you mm -hmm. from all of this atrocities. Um, that is happening against you. I see you, I know you, and I'm going to do something about it. Right. You know what happened in the 7th of October? Mm -hmm. Remind me of a story in the Bible in First Samuel chapter 30. 
that was when King David came back to his town, which mm -hmm. he was not in Israel, and he found out the Amalek had come and burned it down, kidnapped all the mm -hmm. women and kids, and disappeared. Mm -hmm. That was the lowest point in King David's uh, career. He actually, they almost were going to kill him, his own mm -hmm. men. And they were grieving and grieving and mm -hmm. crying until they could cry no more. Yeah. So the situation is quite similar. Here he has his own town, his own people were defenseless. The army, David's mm -hmm. soldiers were not there. They were defenseless. Mm -hmm. They were being kidnapped. The city was burned. You see the similarities? And then King David went after him, but before that, how did King David recover? Mm -hmm. It says that he strengthened himself in the Lord. Right. And that's what we all need to do now. Have to every day. Right. And how do we strengthen ourselves in the Lord? Mm -hmm. We remind ourselves how the Lord had helped us. Yeah. Like always I say, like King yeah. David before fighting Goliath. Right. He reminded himself how the Lord helped him to fight the bear and the lion. The lion. Right. Yeah. Right. So same thing for us. We need to remind ourselves. Yes. And you know something about Noam and I staying here in the midst of this war because we're not going anywhere. And do we want to have a respite? Is that the word? Yeah. Like four days, five days? Yes. Yes. And maybe the Lord will make a way for that. But still, it's like now we know how to comfort others that have gone through war, sorrow and grief and not knowing what tomorrow brings. It's such a word right now to the real church to comfort his people, Israel. And there's a scripture that I've always found so fascinating. It's Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 3 and 4. Blessed be the God and Father of our Yeshua Messiah, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. Because it just means that we've experienced this now, Noam. Now, in the middle of war, because you know that there's going to be more wars around the world. Right. You know what's happening in the States. We, we know the, the threats and everything else. But because Noam and I have, have, have gone through it, we know now, oh my gosh, how to bring comfort. And, you know, I people have asked me, are you going to cancel your tour that I'm doing? Mm -hmm. I think it's April 1st or, I, yeah, I think it's April 1st. So far, no, I'm not going to um, because it's such a time to come in such a time to come in whether whether we can't go to this side or that side it doesn't matter because wherever we go known there are going right. to be people yes. it's going to be people that we can hold somebody's hand mm -hmm. we cannot don't have to say a word but just hold somebody's hand right and just for the people here to see yeah. the tourists coming back wow that is like a fresh air coming oh oh it's hope yes it's it's hope it, it brings hope so today um, I have no idea where the Holy Spirit is going to lead us today. Could be up the mountain again. Could be up the mountain again. But we're, we, we engage with people. We talk with people. We ask them, how are you feeling? What's happening? What, what, uh, what do you think of tomorrow? And it's such a relief that people can talk. They can get out their feelings to you. They can share um, that I had this hope in this, or I had this dream in this. Don't lose it, because if God already told us what the results would be, no matter what for for Israel, it will be victory. It is you go through hard times. Right. They're going to go through hard times. We know that we're not going to get into all that teaching, but the victory in the end is real, because all of us, all of us, even you. Um, during the tribulation and after the tribulation, the, the, I meant to say the, the millennial reign, we're all coming up to Jerusalem, not to Brooklyn, not to London, not to any place else, but to Israel to worship 
the Lord during the Feast of Tabernacles. Amen. If that is not a focus of God's heart for his people, that, that Israel would be the center, his home address for eternity. Amen. So with that note, with blessing and really wow. comforting my yeah. people, we are giving our love. Yes. All those who are following us, thank you so much for being with us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, can we just emphasize that? Mm -hmm. It's beyond, it's yeah, going to start crying. Ding, dang it. Um, you start crying. Um, it's amazing. People that we don't know send us a love gift. And we don't, I've never sat down, broke bread with you. But our hearts is to break bread through his word and to share our lives and to be truthful with you. And for those that send these notes, it's, it's, I mean, no man I can sit back and see the goodness of the Lord and the land of the living. Yeah, but you, if you are one of those that say, you know what? I want to come with you, Deborah. I want to come with you and I want to comfort his people so that they see my face. Please contact me by um, messenger and we'll see what we can do. And of course, I'm, I'm going to kidnap Gnome a few times and stick him on that bus. Um, and so that's, that's our heart, isn't it? That's our heart. So we love you. Yeah. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.